first period scoreless game. Canes on the power play. Yasperi Kokaniemi scores, putting the Canes up 1-0. Let's see that again. Great assist by Stefan Nason. He knew Jasperi was behind him. Waning seconds of the first period. Canes still up 1-0. Avalanche on the power play. Ryan Johansson finishes. Finishes it off for Colorado, his second goal in as many games. Officials say that Johansson didn't intend to kick the puck, so the goal would stand tied at one going into the break. Scoring has gotten out of control in this one. Avalanche currently leading 6-3. to three. That's right, I said 6-3 to three in the third period. This is the Chevrolet Sports Night. Good Saturday evening to you. I'm Evan Siri filling in for J.B. Ricks. He will have a special interview later in the program. But let's get started on the links. Former Wake Forest standout Cameron Young in good position at the Open Championship. He was paired with 54 hole leader Cam Smith in the final group Saturday, where Young was just two shots off the lead. It was a picture perfect day at St. Andrews in Scotland. Victor Hovlin made an early charge. He birdies here the third hole and would go on to birdie the next three to take the lead. Rory McIlroy, you know he can do no wrong. He started the day three shots back. A tough bunker shot on the 10th hole here, but he makes it look easy, rolling it in for the Eagle to take the outright lead. Later in the fourth, UVA nearing another score, but Hollins fumbles it, and it goes through the end zone right at the goal line. He was so close, but UNC would get the ball back. Next, UNC drive, fourth and 12. Tar Heels going forward, and May overthrows Tez Walker. A turnover on downs, U UVA takes the ball back over. And after a UVA punt, UNC gets the ball back. Second 10, May drops back, hits as he throws, picked off by James Jackson. And this one is over. UVA completes the improbable upset. 31-27, giving UNC their first loss of the season. One less undefeated team in the nation tonight. Whew. Crazy one there. Wake Forest, another one. Another crazy one here. Wake Forest looking to bounce back. Hornets and Timberwolves in summer league action. Let's pick it up in the fourth. Kevon Harris hits the three here. He had 23 points. Minnesota up 77-72. But the Hornets, JT Thor, put on a one-man rally. This one a steal. Then the dunk on the other end. Charlotte with an eight. Later, Thor again. This time from long range. He had a game high 28 points. Hornets trail by two. Final seconds now in this one. Last chance for Charlotte. Bryce McGowans has his three attempt blocked. Final, Minnesota wins 89-86. 16th ranked Duke at 4th ranked Florida State. Second quarter, Duke up 10-7. When Chandler Rivers picks off Jordan Travis and takes it to the house, Duke up 17-7 in Tallahassee. Fourth quarter, though, a different story. FSU up 24-20. Jordan Travis passes it to Lawrence Toafoli, and he weaves and winds his way through the defense for the score. The Knowles go on to win this one 38-20. This is the Chevrolet Play of the Day. Back to the Open Championship where Shane Lowry has this pitch on the ninth, just trying to get it close to the hole with his second shot, and he does just that as it rolls in for the Eagle. But Lowry wasn't finished there. The very next hole, he pitches in from the fairway for yet another Eagle. Lowry goes back-to-back -back holes with Eagles. Shane Lowry gets our plate of the day. And both have just one win, and both are still searching for their first win in conference play. Let's take you down to Dowdy Ficklin Stadium for the highlights. We pick this one up in the third quarter. 49ers up 3-0. Jalen Jones to Dwayne Thomas Jr. He takes this one all the way down to the one-yard line, and that pass and catch would set up this one-yard score from Jones here, putting Charlotte up 10-0. Let's fast forward to the fourth quarter now. Pirates still down by 10. Pirates punting near midfield. The returner What'll he do? Not much. He can't handle this one. Right through his arms, setting up the Pirates with great field position. If we take another look at that, fumble there. Cannot handle the ball. ECU would capitalize with a score. Alex Flynn completes it to Shane Calhoun right here. Beautiful grab by Calhoun. Let's take a look at the replay as he maintains possession going to the ground. Pirates down by three. Now, 39 seconds to go in the game. ECU has a chance to tie it, but Andrew Conrad pulls this one wide left, and the 49ers hold on to win 10-7 for their first conference win of the season. An Xfinity Series in playoff mode in Miami. This race, two of three in the round of eight. Chandler Smith beginning the day 15 points out of the top four in the playoff standings, and this is not going to help his championship hopes, folks. Lap 96, he spins around and suffers heavy damage. He finished 34th. He's now 54 points below the cut line. 
The double zero of Cole Custer dominated today, leading 115 laps, but a flat tire with 49 laps to go ended his hopes of a win that would lock him into the championship for Custer finished the lap down to 13. Sam Mayer took it, taking advantage. He was able to hold off Riley Herbst in the final lap to pick up the checkered flag as Mayer clinches a spot in the Xfinity Series title picture in Phoenix on November 4th. There it is, fielding it at the nine yard line. He finds some space. Look what happens next. Nobody can get a hand on him and nobody is catching him either. A much needed touchdown for the Aggies. They cut the lead to just 10 points. Next, if you're looking at this crazy kickoff, we go to the second quarter, late in the second. Never a good sign when you see a punt in a highlight. Caleb Brickhouse's punt is blocked and Quintarius Jeffries' return is for the score putting the Spiders up 23-7. Richmond would roll to the easy W today, winning by a final of 33-10. The Aggies have now lost three straight for the second time this season. They will travel to Hampton to take on the Pirates next week.